to better equip our students with future of work skill. In the course of our re envisioning and rebranding, we have sharpened our purpose and vision while defining our core value. I'm happy to share them with you before their official launch at our upcoming SIM Plan Refresh later this month. Um, I was told that uh, you will, our new vision, our new purpose, and also core value were displayed on the screen. <laughs> will it be there? No, okay, never mind, okay. So uh, let me read that out to you. Our purpose, empowering people and organization to learn and drive across life stages. Our vision, the learning partner of choice for every learner. Our core values, we have five core values. The first one is act with integrity. Second one is respect for the individual. The third one is be learner-centric. Fourth, collaborate. Fifth, continuously learn and innovate. SIM continue to work hard on our journey to achieve our vision, our horizon to our 2025 journey is based broadly on three key initiatives, accelerating global education, re-evolutionize lifelong learning, and growing enterprise learning. As you may already know, our, region, our national birth rate in Singapore has been declining annually and there are more autonomous universities in Singapore. This means less students pursuing higher education with institutions like SIM GE. Given these situations, SIM GE has to go further upstream to identify and serve students who may have challenges getting into higher education for a variety of reasons. For example, to help the less academically inclined A-level students and ITE students, SIM need to start to create more bridging programs. We are also working on extending our undergraduate programs to postgraduate programs and extend our footprint overseas to attract and grow our international students based in the region. This is our SIMGE Accelerated Growth Strategy, tapping on international students to drive overall growth. I will let my Vice Provost to share with you later on, on SIMGE initiatives and programs. We continue to re uh, uh, evolutionize our lifelong learning not only for our own SIMGE students, but also grow enterprise learning for working adults, enterprises, and organizations through our professional development and enterprise learning branch, or we call them most uh, uh, often as PDEL. Our current pool of PDEL customer consists of multinational company, Tamasic Link Company, as well as reputable government organizations, ministry agency, and state board. All of which our colleague and PDEL have worked hard in bringing on board. So, for example, um, we started our SG United programs back in year 2020. And today we have two SG United programs, uh, one on advanced manufacturing, the other one on supply chain management. We have successfully helped 1,500 adult workers for their job transition 
through these two SG United programs. For example, we are currently working with HP to provide training programs not only to HP employees, but also employees in HP ecosystem. In other words, the supplier, the user of HP system. And we are actually helping one company to train their staff, to train their employees, not in Singapore, but in Australia. So all these are things that projects that our PDL colleagues are working on. What I have touched on so far is just a few milestones for our Horizon 2025. It has been over two years since COVID-19 uh, threw us many challenges we have had to confront and overcome and focus and force us to adapt in so many ways. I'm extremely heartened to see how all of you, our faculty at the front line, had led the change. New ways of online and hybrid teaching, new ways of assessing, new focus, new tools and new technology. You truly epitome what it means to be lifelong learner as we emerge stronger from the epidemic. Before I hand over the podium to Vice Provost uh, Dr. Timothy Chan, I just want to add my heartiest congratulations to our Teaching and Service Award recipients and also my deepest appreciation to all our associate faculty as you accompany SIM on our journey. I hope you will enjoy today's program. Thank you. Thank you, Prof Wei, for enlightening us about our core values and Horizon 2025. Let us now invite our Vice Provost, Dr. Timothy Chan, to give his faculty address. Good morning, Prof. Wei, faculty members, colleagues, and also a special welcome to Dr. Kelvin McCurry, our Residential Director of uh, University at Buffalo, to join us in person this morning. Welcome. Uh, this must be my first physical uh, meeting, gathering with friends among faculties since 2019. I think 2019 was the last time we have a sit-down dinner. Um, I look forward for that to come again. Unfortunately, COVID lasts much longer than we expected. And hence, this year, um, we have this hybrid event. But I really look forward that 2023, maybe another nine months later on, uh, we spend a nice evening together for a sit-down dinner. Folks mentioned that um, there's a lot of changes, a lot of transformation happening in SIM. Uh, just before I forget, uh, I will send out an invitation to all of you to attend our online, uh, it's a virtual uh, SIM rebranding launch. And that event will tell you a little bit more uh, what we are heading, what are the new visions that we have as a group not just SIM, uh, global education. And now that we have integrated the different entities of SIM under one roof, under one umbrella, SIM, we focus not just on P employment training, but we also want to build up a very strong pillar of continual education, uh, both within global education and also our professional development, which is now called SIM Academy. So more detail can be found, uh, can, be, can be shared. Uh, I will I'll try, try to remember that I will send you out the invitation uh, by Monday, if not over the weekend. There are a few areas I would like to share with you that what have been transformed or what are some of our initiative or focus that are moving on for SIM Global Education. 
One area is that in terms of, of our program discipline, uh, if I just trace back to five years ago, 2017, two out of three of our programs are business and management related. And during that time, I guess, about less than 10%, 7% to be exact, 7% of our uh, programs are IT related. And five years now, our business related program account for about half, 52%. And not that we have we move a lot of business program, but it says we have added other discipline, uh, particularly ICT. For IT program, we have now close to 20% of our student population are doing IT related program. And in our journey, we will continue to introduce programs that are in demand in the industry, uh, not just in Singapore, but in the region. So more new program uh, will be announced uh, throughout the years. The second area is about the level of studies. In the past, we focused on two levels, mainly, the diploma and the undergrad. The latter is short. Uh, but we find that it is important now we provide more bridges, more ladder and bridges, because we understand now students come from different sources, not just a traditional source of students finish O-level, finish their poly, and come in. We do have students, particularly in the region, that they come with different academic background. Uh, particularly, we also see that our own graduate also uh, would like to continue their education, their learning, their training. Some continue with more skill-based, some still want to pursue uh, more advanced academic program. And hence, as you can see, we have introduced new master degree program to um, lengthen our letter, so to speak. But at the same time, we also introduce more certificate or even foundation to certificate so as to bridge the academic background so that the student can meet our admission criteria. So for the last couple of years, you can see our diploma in IT, our foundation program in IT, foundation program in management studies, that is to bridge the student, to bring the student so that they can be admitted to the uh, MFS, the ITFS, and subsequently to a diploma degree or even to the master degree program. So we see the level of study have increased. Delivery channel. Um, COVID took us by surprise. I really use the word surprise. I still remember vividly. March 2020, in the assistant executive office, that was the day that we have to decide. We have no choice. We know that we need to shut down physical campus. And we have to switch. Learning must continue. And that big decision is very stressful for everyone. Suddenly, we have to go through online, completely online, synchronous way of study. Um, some of you, some of my ex colleagues here, you know that in 1997, I actually introduced an advanced diploma course and from Singapore, we offer to Hong Kong and Australia. Um, that experience is we have no board band. It is very, very stressful. And the technology is not ready. I must say that even two years ago, the technology is still not there. If you still remember the early versions of Zoom and, and, and Teams, it is really struggling. But it's talking about surprise. We think that COVID will be over in six months. Six months down the line, it's still there. One year down the line, still there. Now two years, it's still there. Uh, but COVID will one day disappear. But we don't know when the next pandemic will come. So we will not stop our online effort. We will see that the channel of learning will become really only channels. There are people who prefer face-to-face, -face, there will be online, and there will be blended. And we actually want a program with uh, which is an online, completely an online manner, with an uh, Australian partners and on the graduate diploma level. And we also now offer our uh, the, the, the MFS, Management Foundation Study Program, to some uh, training center in China. And that one is a blended mode, meaning that we have our uh, faculty members provide the online lecturing but we have the physical classes conducted the tuition at the uh, academic education center in China 
by the Chinese faculty. So we have this kind of blended approach. And moving forward, we will see a lot more permutation. From one end, pure online. On the other end, it's still very much face-to-face. -face. But we will not stop the online effort. In terms of pedagogy, we also move beyond just purely theoretical. We know that we are not going to change the syllabus of our partner university program so that the graduate, when they obtain the university program, the qualification, it will be comparable to the one they get um, from the main campus. But on top of what they have learned, we put, want to put one more layer on it. And that is all about employability. And that kind of learning is more applied, more authentic learning. Uh, we call it applied, just applied learning. Basically, more skill-based. And we listen to what the industry needs, and therefore we want to strengthen our students. Apart from the solid foundation, they will also acquire some of the in-demand in skill in their respective uh, domain of study. Learning will be not just classroom, we will provide more out-of-classroom learning for them. I'll talk a little bit on that later on. In terms of learners, in the past, 80% of our students are local. But we can see now we have more overseas students. Um, we targeted in a few years' time, uh, Prof mentioned about Horizon 2025, we might have up to half of our student population are from this region, uh, from the 40 countries that we reach out to. And in terms of student support, we expect more inclusivity and diversity. We will provide more soft skill to them on top of those hard skills they learn in the course. Uh, some, some are not aware that actually in the back end, in terms of student administration, um, we focus more on the technology and able and the data-driven kind of uh, uh, leverage we can get out of the system. Uh, the full-time academic have been using uh, the system for learning analytics. We check the module progression rate, the module passing rate, the progression rate, the cohort success rate. Um, I'm happy to announce that actually um, CPE audit, auditor, they had come here for two rounds of audit. We just completed a couple of weeks back. A team of four come here for two rounds, uh, about 20 mandates, very thoroughly checking all our processes. We are eagerly waiting for the written report. Uh, we expect the report to be given end of July. Uh, but the verbal feedback is very positive, and we are very confident that we will get another four years of EduTrust license and will continue our, our um, business. Uh, finally, I want to talk about two areas that we focus on, uh, or two particular setups that help us to improve the student employability. One is the Center for Micro Credentials, and that mentioned that this provides short courses skill-based, some of them online, for students to acquire some of the skill needed industry. The courses are bite-sized, uh, relatively short, uh, but it is a focus on the competency-based uh, type of learning. Uh, we also have planned that for our faculty, some of our development program will be put on as a micro-credential. And we provide the digital badges as well, which means that when the student complete those micro-credentials, they are offered a digital badge that they can display in their LinkedIn account or any other social media account. And by stacking this micro-credential, we provide learning pathway. Um, we have been working or opening a dialogue with uh, CPE. At the moment, they, they're still not very comfortable that we propose whether we can stack all this micro-credential into a module and stacking all this module into academic uh, qualification. My plan to show them is, can we have micro-credential to stack after having a module? Can we have a maybe post-cert, post-graduate cert? From post-graduate cert, can we have a post-graduate diploma? From a post-graduate diploma, can we have a master degree? Now with that, that we are provide really more lifelong learning to our graduate or even to the public at large. So we are still opening the discussion with CPE. They have a lot of, uh, it's a little bit unconditional, untraditional, and a little bit of too innovative 
and they have a lot of questions for us. We have addressed those questions, uh, but we will continue to see whether uh, they allow us uh, to go to this path. And uh, I talk about the CMC Center for Micro Credential. Uh, student development will also be rolling out the e student portfolio transcript. Um, that, in a way, the student will graduate with the academic qualification, but we also have a portfolio transcript uh, to record all their out of classroom learning, leadership, professional development program that they have achieved throughout the journey with us. And again, that will help them in, in presenting the case to the potential employer. So I think I've taken uh, enough time here. I will stop here. Uh, after the event, uh, most welcome if you have any questions for me and you want to find out more. Thank you very much and enjoy this morning's event. Thank you. Thank you, Timothy. So next, we will be presenting our Teaching Excellence Awards. Gary set a high standard for the students to follow. He always shared the success story and let the students learn the value in it and from there motivates the students not just in terms of academic development but also in terms of character development and that really makes him different from the, the rest of the lecturers and that makes him outstanding. The way I keep them engaged is to have a variety of uh, activities but very important is after those activities that the students understand why we did that so that they will really enhance their learning. Gary tends to inject fun in learning and therefore he's able to make a topic interesting for the students. How I get them interested is to relate it to daily life. I always like to let them know how it can be useful uh, in their future when they start work or when they start their own business. I think Loris is an inspiration to students in many ways. She brings her expertise into the classroom and gives a, a way for students to understand what they need to become to be successful in that world. I think there are many challenges a lecturer may face or an educator may face. And uh, one of the main ones would be how to inspire students to be self, more self-directed, uh, more motivated, more confident and responsible in their own learning. We also need to be aware that within a class, there may be students with different levels of knowledge, uh, different attention spans and learning inclinations. Uh, so we have to consider these uh, when we do our delivery. Laura's primed students' interest in learning by providing problem sets for students to solve as individuals and in groups that have real world significance and relevance. I think it's very important to provide a safe space for students to express themselves openly and boldly. Um, I, I think the use of um, uh, micro affirmations and to be inclusive, uh, be patient, um, and not to be critical at all, try to engage students in um, active learning and um, never lose your enthusiasm, even with the most boring topic. He understands their needs and he addresses their needs in very systematic and holistic ways. He understands how to use technology in the educational space, especially over the last couple of years with COVID and the move to fully online. So he understands the way to motivate people in a discipline, in a social world. Uh, some of the techniques I think I would really recommend is to do a visual, uh, mental visualization of the classroom. One of the things about today's students is that they are digital natives. So I find that especially the last two years, Engaging with them, not through the lecture slides, but through mobile devices, is one of the best ways to actually reach out to them. He does that at individual and group levels and motivates students to communicate in their process of learning, becoming, and in their growth as a professional individual. What I try to do is to maintain open communication with them through email, WhatsApp, Telegram, or any other forms of communication which they're comfortable with. The first thing I think is never judged. 
Making the student engage through activities that are formative in nature, quizzes and discussion questions, makes them participate and that process itself makes them learn even more deeper context of the questions, of the topics, of the knowledge. She's always energetic, engaging and encouraging. It is difficult for students not to reciprocate by putting more effort if they are taught by a committed lecturer like Mabel. She also encourages students to look for real-life examples that apply the theories learned in class. The purpose is to get the students to see the context before diving into theories. I think it's important to always remember why I teach um, and that's why I can have passion throughout, uh, passion that lasts, that lasts me throughout all my teaching journey uh, because it is the purpose behind why I do what I do. So I often tell them that the struggle, the process of struggle is the learning process. That as part of the learning, they are meant to struggle in order to ensure that I also am well aware that they are learning what they're supposed to be learning and they're able to apply it well. I uh, am quite deliberate in making sure that I inject, incorporate a lot of small and and big review points. Students like the way she makes her lessons enjoyable, fun and interactive. Many of her students share that they always look forward to attending her lessons each week. Uh, motivation theory is one of my main tenets of, of teaching and my, my teaching uh, design. I make it very clear, very explicit to them why we are learning this. The quality that stands out to make Kapiao excellence as a lecturer is his downworth, efficient and approachable manner. He tries every possibility to make his lesson easy to follow, fun and enjoyable. To his students, Kapiao is more like a senior sharing a wealth of knowledge and experience than a lecturer teaching a set of materials. So for me, uh, the way to keep students engaged and be interested in my subject is to develop uh, case study and projects that they can see will help them in their career. Another approach that his students like is his effective use of practical, real-life examples to enrich the learning of abstract concepts. Most importantly, he blends the theories and practice in an easily understood manner which makes learning straightforward without sacrificing theoretical depth. We have to give them a lot of practices, uh, challenges, so that they will try to overcome uh, some of these uh, difficult questions. And uh, in, by doing that, they will naturally uh, you know, develop their interest in the subject. Contact always try to listen from the view of the student and eventually he will be able to coach them so that they will get into the right direction. I believe that uh, if I could understand my students are better, I could actually teach them and help them better. He will be able to marry uh, the strength between theory and practice and uh, by doing so, then the students will feel uh, more enthusiastic to understand what they will be learning. Questioning is actually very important. What I do is I will make sure that I acknowledge each of their answers and I give positive feedback on each of their answers, no matter whether they, are, they answer the questions fully or they just answer it partly. Usha's strengths are, as I mentioned, her her subject area knowledge, so her ability to present the material in a very organized and a structured way helps the students to cope with a very, very heavy course load. So I tend to use the discussion board on our learning system uh, and students enjoy that because it engages them in each other's work. Uh, Usha is a, the kind of person who leads by example. Usha, through her own brilliance as a communicator, as an instructor of the course, really helps to inspire the students how to do well, how to keep up with their assignments, and how to excel in them. 
relating it to the local context uh, and um, getting them to think about how it affects um, themselves or uh, the local community. Uh, I try very hard to um, you know, encourage them uh, by acknowledging, by affirming them for their contribution and um, getting other students to comment um, on what somebody has said. So there's a kind of uh, extension of the conversation. So it doesn't just end with one student uh, providing a comment, but it's built on by other students. With our commitment to a high level of standard and quality in our programs, the SIM Teaching Awards was launched in 2011 to encourage and recognize exemplary teaching skills among our associate lecturers. The awards honor those who possess exemplary teaching skills which positively impact students' learning. Awards recipients must also have displayed a high level of dedication and commitment that contributes to the success of SIM Global Education. Two categories of awards are given annually, the SIM Teaching Excellence Awards and the SIM Teaching Merit Awards. These are awarded based on a rigorous set of criteria, including students' evaluation scores. We are so glad to have our Teaching Excellence Awards recipients present on site with us to uh, receive their awards. Now, let's welcome our Provost Prof Wei to congratulate our Teaching Excellence Awards recipients. For all so, recipients, you may wish to remove your mask as you come up on stage and do remain on stage to take a group photo later. Chong Ko Ming, who specializes in economics. Chuan Loris, who specializes in finance and investment. Chiam Siang Rong, who specializes in technopreneurship and innovation. Mabel Tan Chai Lin, who specializes in marketing, communication, and management. who specializes in management information systems. <laughs> Tan King Tech, who specializes in communication software and networks.
Usha Naya, who specializes in business communication. May we now invite all our Teaching Excellence Award recipients to take a group photo with Provost. And you may wish to remove your mask for the group photo if you wish to. Thank you, Prof Wei, for giving out the awards. Let's give them a round of applause. Next, we will be giving out the Teaching Merit Awards. For recipients, you may wish to remove your mask as you come up on stage and do remain on stage for a group photo. Let us now welcome our recipients up on stage and Prof Wei to congratulate the Teaching Merit Awards recipients. Chan Chi Sun, who specializes in marketing and event management. Go Bun Yao, who specializes in psychology. Daniel Chu Chi San, who specializes in logistics and supply chain management. Hiroko Fujita, who specializes in Japanese language. <music> Jesslyn Lao Bisha, who specializes in communication. Ko Chung Ha, who specializes in information systems for business and wealth management.
Our next award recipient, Ong Chin Chu, is not on site with us today, but still we would like to congratulate her. Ong Chin Chu, who specialises in sales and marketing. And our next award recipient is Su Wai Han, who specialises in accounting. Tan Hui Chin, who specialises in international financial analysis. Tan Suat Peng, who specialises in business statistics. Tan Yong Fa Caleb, who specialises in business statistics, mathematics and management. May we now invite all our Teaching Merit Award recipients to take a group photo with our Provost. You may wish to remove your mask for the group photo. Thank you, recipients. You may return to your seats. Thank you, Prof Wei, for giving out the awards. Let us give them a round of applause. Thank you. Hey, Isabel, have you seen a live performance recently? Uh, the last time I watched a live performance was about two years ago, before COVID at Esplanade. Ah, mm. I see. But today, we're lucky. For our first performance today, let's watch as the SIM dance sport team members reminisce about their school days where they live and breathe fun. With this performance, the team would like to thank all lecturers for their boundless kindness, understanding and patience. The team will be performing a hyper and upbeat jive to a familiar oldie, Footloose. So do sing and clap along and let's welcome the SIM dance sport team. Oh, man. 
Wow, what an upbeat performance. We would like to thank our SIM Dance Sport Performance Director and Choreographer for putting up this lively performance. So for the next segment, we will be announcing our Lecturer Service Award recipients. This year, we have five categories for this award, namely the 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25 year award. We would like to invite our LSA 5 and 10 year award recipients to come up on stage as a group after we have announced all the names. Our five year lecturer service awards are given to recipients who have been teaching in SIM for at least five years. And now these are the recipients for the lecturer service awards for five years. They are Xiu Li Mei, Felix Tan Tiam Kim and Go Boon Yao. <music> Hiroko Fujita, Ho Jin Chan Bernard, Li Hui Wun. Lim Nan, Ng Wai Sin, Pang Kim Wai. <music> Sir Tech Yong Kenneth, Tan He Beng Kwan, Yap Irene. Thank you recipients for your five years of service. Let's invite Provost and our five-year award recipients for a group photo taking session. You may wish to remove your masks for the group photo. Let's give them a round of applause and you may all return to your seat. Let us now continue with the 10-year Lecturer Service Award. The names of the recipients for the Lecturer Service Awards for 10 years are <music> Xiao Wee Tiong James, Cho Wee Wang and Deepa G. Pillai. Jacinta Tan Ai Cheng, Jamie Wong Po Chi, Jeffrey Quack Tu Kwang. <music> Jolie Ng Mong Chun Edwin, Sovan Patra. Subramaniam Kumaresan, Tan Chi Yen, Elias William Tan, Tan Hui Chin. <music> Tan Siong Ho Donald, Teo Gwek Ling, Wei Kok Che. Wong King Jiao Sunny, Wu San Kong. <music> we would like
would like to invite all award recipients and Prof Wei to come on stage to take a group photo together. You may remove your mask for the group photo if you wish to. Thank you, Prof Wei. Let us give our LSA recipients a round of applause. Everyone must be raring for some fun. The next segment of our award ceremony is the game, Pictionary. Does anyone know how to play Pictionary? Don't go, as there are some very attractive prizes to be won. The fastest and most accurate guesses stand a chance to win the SIM Bluetooth headset. Online and on-site participants will compete separately on the same questions to win these prizes. We will arrange with the online winners for the prize reception. For those who are present with us on-site, you may look for Jess and Gyokling later uh, outside at the reception counter to collect your prize after the event is over. Uh, only associate lecturers are eligible to participate in this game. <laughs> Uh, Isabel will now give the uh, instructions to the game. But just now I heard someone asking what price <laughs> so you'll be getting. <laughs> so we just repeat, it's the SIM Bluetooth headset. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so for Pictionary, we'll be inviting some volunteers to assist us. So Mary here will show a word to the volunteer and he or she will draw something that is associated with the word on the flip chart that we have in front. And for our audience here on site, the first person here who raises your hand, tells us your name and gives the correct answer will win a prize. So remember, it's first raise your hand, then tell us your name before you give us the correct answer. So if you shout out the answer without raising your hand and telling us your name, it will not be counted. <laughs> so remember, raise hand, tell name, then tell answer. Tell us the answer. So for our online audience as well, we have not forgotten about you. So the first one to type out the correct answer in our chat box will win a prize from us too. Yes, can we now invite a volunteer to draw? Ah, okay. Maybe we have. You are okay. Thank you. Uh, this is Candice Pagoda, and she's going to draw. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. So we're starting the game now. Let's see what Candice. Shall we help our audience along? Okay, sure. Uh, let's give them some clues and hints, shall we? Um, okay, I see some... Uh, okay, so the hint is, for this question, for this word, it refers to a water feature within the SIM campus. And remember to raise your hands. Your name is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Ko, Ko Chung Ha has raised his name. And yes, 
the answer is correct. Let's look at our uh, uh, online okay, online participants. So far, the, they are giving they the are still clues. Guessing. School of fishes here, <laughs> pond, fish pond. There are some very lively aquatic. Some yes, very okay, close Getting ones. very close. Joanna, ah, Joanna Yo has got yes, the so correct answer. <laughs> Congratulations to participants Chong Ha and Joanna Yo from online. Yes. Um, can we <laughs> thank you, thank you, Candice as well. Um, please, can we pass you a token of appreciation? Okay. Okay, so uh, do uh, remember to uh, approach Gakling and Jess later outside for your mm. attractive prize and uh, online participants you will be contacted. Um, and we will arrange to send you the prizes. Now for question two, uh, can we have a volunteer for question two? Wow, Tianling is very ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very yeah, much. Let, Tian let's Ling. welcome Tianling down. <laughs> Word. It can only be a word, um, and yes. And this word, okay, prophecy. Okay, so <laughs> we're starting now online as well. Xian Ling will be drawing. Xian Ling is very artistic. <laughs> mm. It looks like a hexagon that he's drawing. It looks like a how. Mm. I it see like a hand. hand there. Holding each other. So online, you can also make your guesses. And guesses. Yes. Hi, sir. Your name is? Okay, it's a word. Okay, mm. one thing, word. Yes, one word. Your name uh, and what's your guess? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, okay, I'm afraid that's not correct. And the person behind? Steven, hi, Steven. Oh, um, not right as well. Okay. Let's give you a little bit of hints. Uh, okay, let's get this answer as well. Sean and Roland are very close online. Yes, Donald got it. Okay, it's in fact one of SIM's core values, right? Uh, so we're going to announce the answers later. Thank you very much, Tia Ling. Okay, we are still waiting online for the correct answer. Okay, Praban. Praban Naya got it online. Yes, Teamwork. okay. Congratulations, Praban Naya. Teamwork is the answer. It's one of SIM's core values. And congratulations to Donald as well. One of our board okay. recipients. Okay, we're now on to question three. <laughs> I feel very excited because, you know, <laughs> this group, you really like to participate. <laughs> okay, can I have one last volunteer for question three? Uh, hi. One, ready? Uh, okay. Yes, hi, you are oh, Mona Lisa. Okay, we have Mona Lisa here to draw for us for question three. <laughs> So Mary will show Mona Lisa the word Yes And, and the teacher giving the questions here I will be I checking out online yeah. What they are writing This is a very interesting question <laughs> Might require higher level of thinking For this question as well One word. Stickman. How does that go? Okay. Would you like some clues? So we see here a circle with looks like a bag a of money. Man. Probably his criminal. Okay. <laughs> a stick figure. Yeah, looks like a bag of money. He's holding book. Okay, online. Book. Come on. Let's see if you can make so a guess. So we're going to give you a little bit of clue. This is one word as well. The word has three syllables and joined together two words, three syllables. It refers to a process that it's SIM one has word, to go actually. It's, it's one, one word, word. One word, you know, one it's word. It's a process we have to go, go through. through every four years. SIM has to go through this process every four years. And in that process, no, online we have not got. 
Jasmine. Oh, uh, I'm afraid that's not the answer. Okay. Ah, uh, Gary. Very close. But what is that name? Uh, you not wanna... yet online. Yes, no, the not man in yet. The thing. Kenneth. Yes, <laughs> Kenneth got okay. it. Yes. Congratulations. That's CPE really difficult. CPE is very <laughs> close. Okay. But what about online participants? Jet. Very close. Okay, Danny. we have okay, Chiang Jing Er. Chiang Jing Er online who got Edu Trust. Yes, congratulations, Chiang Jing Er. Edu Trust. As well as Kenneth, who got the answers correct. Yes, so Let for the online participants, we will contact you to collect your prizes. Thank you very much, Mona Lisa. And thank you to all of you for participating in this. Okay, so next up, we have the Lecturer Service Awards for those who have been with SIM for 15 years. So for today, some of our award recipients are not able to attend the award ceremony. And we would like to congratulate them as well. Chan King Ping. Chan Yuan Man Carol. Chiu Chi Hua. And Heng Ai Kon. Kerti Vimal Hanau, Con Willie Claire, Lee Yong Ying Mabel, Lee Jong Chiang, Lim Kaim Soon, Ong Chin Huat, Ong Hock Soon, T Charles, Waras Michelle Sikanda. Let us now welcome Prof. Wei to congratulate the 15-year Long Service Awards recipients. For recipients, you may remove your mask as you come up on stage and do remain on stage later for a group photo. Okay. And the award recipients are Derek Hui Liao Chun Hui Next, we have Lim Che Ng. Okay, let's give them a round of applause for 15 years. Let's give a round of applause for Hun Sui Ha. Next, we have Tan Mak Kun Maurice. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, 
Okay, and we have Yip C Y. Let's give him a round of applause. Provost and all our recipients to take a group photo. Thank you, Prof Wei and all our award recipients. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. This year, we have an exciting segment again. We have a lucky draw for all our associate lecturers who have registered their attendance. So whether you're joining us here on site or online, as long as you have registered an RSVP, you get a chance to the lucky draw. For winners who are attending this event online, please confirm your attendance by typing your name in the chat. So only those present, you know, like the Xing Xiong one, then you can get the prize. So for those who are here, you also need to raise your hands and tell us that you're here. Okay? Uh, <laughs> on, only when you get drawn. <laughs> yes. We'll reach out to you to send you the prize. And for on-site winners, uh, please proceed to the uh, uh, reception later to Jess or Gyalin for the prize. So let's take a look. Uh, here are our lucky draw prizes. The first prize is a $132 hotel dining voucher. Second prize is an $80 book voucher. And third prize is a $40 book voucher. So please acknowledge your attendance by raising your hand if you're on-site here with us or typing your name in the chat room if you're online. We will re-spin the wheel if the lucky draw winner is not present or there's no response online. So for those who are present on site, again, you may look for Jess or Gyok Ling at the reception counter outside to claim your prize after the event is over. And if you are joining us online, we will contact you regarding your prize. Yes. Okay. So here we have, we're going to do the um, lucky the draw wheel. now. Yes. yes. Okay, let's and go. And let's see who's our lucky winner now. Heng Ai Kun is our first prize winner. Is Heng Ai Kun here today? Here. Are you online as well? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, we will give you... I see lots of names, but no Heng Ai Kun. <laughs> okay, how long do okay, we go? We count to three, okay? Shall we count to three? Okay. 60 seconds. One. One. Two. Two. Oh, everyone's ready to go again. Three. Three. Okay, let's draw okay, again. Yes, <laughs> let's draw again. So sorry, <laughs> Mr. Hay. <laughs> Count to three. Okay, yeah. we count to three again. Okay. okay. Three. Give him one more chance. One. One. Two. two three. 
Okay, okay. let's <laughs> spin again. This was pricey, so. <laughs> Highly sought after. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> okay, on Chun Chu is for second prize because I think okay, Ken Wee, Ken has Wee is here. So, yeah, that is virtual. It's online and it's because there's a little bit of a lag. So, uh, and his response is just a few seconds after. Okay, yeah. so maybe this one will spin for the next prize. This one, uh, on Chun Chu would be the second prize winner. Yes, okay. So Ong Chin Chu is the second prize winner. Um, is Ong Chin Chu here online with us? Tan Ai Kim no, is no. Yeah, not Ong Chin Chu. Yes. Yep, Kin Wee is here, but yes. not. Ong Chin Chu was a recipient who could not attend today with us. So Ong Chin um, Chu. Okay, perhaps we have got to go again. Yeah, she mm. likely it's not online as well. Mm. Okay, I let's go. We'll have to um, let's draw again. again, please. Let's spin again. Okay. Online, perhaps. We need Lady Luck shining. Yeah, on just side, waiting right? now. Yeah, no winner so far on side. Is Mr. Fu yes, yep, can we is confirmed. So uh, we will contact you regarding your prize after the event is over for Yap Kien We. Yes, is Mr. Fu Hiluan here online? Mm. Bob Fu Hiluan, are you here? Congratulations. Are you online? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So we just wait a while more. La. See if Okay, they have just um got this on the screen, so Yes, it's Mr. Fu Hilan uh online here with us today. He is logged in. He's yeah. logged in. No response. Eh? Oh, he says he's oh, online. Yeah. Okay, okay. congratulations. Hiluan. Congratulations for to your Hiluan. second prize. Yes, we will okay. contact you after the event is over about your prize. Yes, we will now spin the third and last time for the $40 book voucher. Um, let's go, spin. Yes, we'll spin one more time. The last time the for the third prize. Okay, we have Tio Lucy. Tio Lucy. Tio Lucy, are you here? Not on site. Oh, Lady Luck didn't okay. shine on. Us okay, we'll on wait a today. while more for the <laughs> online audience. Oh, yes, Tio Lucy is okay, here. Great. Okay, congratulations. All online. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Thank we will much. contact you uh, after the event is over yes. about your prize. And now let's take some time to appreciate our lecturers who have been teaching in SIM for 20 years. Today, a few of our 20 year Long Service Awards winners are unable to come on site with us, but still would like to congratulate them. They are Go Kai Kok, Sunny. <music> Lee Chun Chu. Wee K Ki Kenny <music> G 
Gan Chin Yen. Now let us welcome our provost, Prof Wei, to present the award. Our next award recipient is Ko Chai Chu. Let's give them a round of applause. You may now return to your seat. Next up, we have our lecturers who have been teaching here in SIM for the past 25 years. Today, one of our... Okay. Today, Balwan Singh is unable to join us, but still would like to congratulate him. Balwan Singh. Our next, Our next award, award recipient is Saminadan, son of Malayandi. Our final recipient for 25 years is To Eng Wat. Once again, congratulations to To Eng Wat. May we now invite all award recipients to take a group photo with Prof Wei. Give them a round of applause and you may return to your seats. So next, we have a song dedicated to all our lecturers who have gone the extra mile in guiding students through the academic journey here in SIM. The pandemic has definitely been a tough time for all and the students are continuously grateful for your efforts. So to show their appreciation and here to perform a duet, a Thousand Years by members of the SIM Guitar Club and SIM as Premier Singing Club. Please welcome on stage Aisha and Amir.
We'll proceed with the games for this segment. Yes. Yes. So we'll have a we'll have a really beautiful song for you later. Yes. So um, our next segment is a game, and mm. it's titled "What's for Lunch." <laughs> so I'm sure some of you must be very hungry <laughs> already. Yes. So uh, the way to play this game is. Um, you will see a zoomed-in view of a dish in our lunch bento set, which you will receive later on. And you have to guess what the dish is. Uh, for our on-site participants, the first one who raised the hand and give us the correct answer uh, will Raise win the prize. Raise your hand, tell us your name first, uh, like yes. just now. <laughs> yes. Tell us your name first, yeah. then give us the correct answer. So likewise, for our online participants, the first one to type out the correct answer will win a prize for us. Mm. From us. Yes, um, can we take a look at the first question? For what's for lunch? Okay, so number one, guess this food item. Let's see online what we have here. This is a popular um, popular dish. Yes, hi, you are. Andrew, yes, hi, Andrew. Sick and sour pork. Unfortunately, mm. that's not the correct answer. So, yes, yourself, you are, sorry, Katie, hi Katie, sambal dish, sambal fish, uh, unfortunately it's not correct okay, as well. Okay, online not yet, yes. oh, okay, Tamil Bunya? Selby has the answer, huh? sorry, not yes. sorry, it's Roland Wong, Roland Wong who has the answer. Yes, congratulations, so Bunyao and Roland, Roland Wong. Wong. This is a popular buffet dish and it is chicken curry. Spot on. <laughs> Spicy dish. <laughs> okay, what a very fierce fight we've got and very great guesses among you. Okay, um, let's have our second question. Yes, can you guess this food item? It is sweet. It's a dessert usually. <laughs> okay. Bunya again? What would you do with the same prize? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry? Yes, that's right. <laughs> you are. Sorry. Huh? Oh, yes, Katie. Katie has won a prize. Yes, the correct oh, answer okay. is that. We have Roland again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. Roland um, Wong. <laughs> Mango yes, pudding. Okay, okay <laughs> so congratulations to our winners. Yes. So the correct answer is mango pudding. <laughs> okay, so I uh, would like to welcome our performers. Are we gonna? Yes, we're just gonna have two two questions. You still wanna get? <laughs> okay. Um, do we have? Okay. Our performers here with us now. Yeah. Let's okay, welcome. So let's wel welcome Aisha and Amir with a thousand years. Mic test. Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? Good. All right, so I'm Aisha and this is Amir and we'll be singing A Thousand Years. So hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> test, test. Darling, don't be afraid I have love 
you for a thousand years. I love you for a thousand more. Time stands still, beauty and all she is. I will be brave. Standing in front of me, every breath, every hour has come to this. One step closer, I have died every day waiting for you, darling. Don't. Love you for a thousand more, and all along I believe I have found you. Time has brought your heart to me. I have loved you for a thousand years. I love you for a thousand more. Thank you, thank you to uh, Aisha and Amia. So we are really very happy to end this ceremony off on a high note and we hope you had a joyous time this morning. So do join us on the virtual platform and continue to network with attendees. So as you are leaving the theatre, please collect your lunch bento and adjourn to the tables outside to mingle with your colleagues. And so here is goodbye and we wish you a pleasant day ahead. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.